Hey guys, <clears throat> I wanted to uh, give you a peek at uh, the latest finds I've gotten. I'm saving the best for last, so I might want to stick around. Check out the detailing on this guy. And he's huge. Look at, look at my hand. Look at him. Pretty freaking big. And look at the, the detailing on the legs. So... If you're looking for something to throw at your adventurers or just to slap down on the, the battlefield, like imagine like your Space Marine Rhino is going across and uh, it decides that this wants to mate with it. <laughs> you guys got to get out and fight this thing. So, uh, yeah, it'd be pretty freaking cool. We all know about the size of a, uh, of a, of a regular Rhino and this isn't much smaller. So... And uh, this is something. Uh, this is uh, just one of the items I picked up. My wife uh, found some really good stuff for like a uh, uh, an oasis. Uh, this is all from Nelson's Dime Store up in Racine, which is like stepping back in time. It's like literally uh, their store has not changed since I was a child. I would go in there at like ten years old. And they'd have bins of just like plastic toys. You know, and speaking of plastic toys, I've been looking I, for my Zulu army. I want to do like a wear, uh, a wear faction where like the Zulus can turn into like uh, lions. Look at the scale. The scale is perfect. <clears throat> you know, it it's it's uh, puts on maybe fifty percent beef. And uh, it's just awesome. So I'm probably going to go and pick up more of these guys and have an entire formation that can literally change into lions. You know, they're going to think, oh, it's, you know, a bunch of guys coming in with whatever, spears or whatever, big deal. And all of a sudden, boom, you're looking at a whole pride of lions about to jump on your formation and eat it for lunch. <clears throat> and then um, my, my big latest find is this bad boy right here check him out uh, put the Zulu down for scale pretty freaking massive huh so um, <clears throat> I went through and I dug dug around and I found uh, these guys these skeleton heads and then I uh, I went and I got a bunch of my Hearst Arts ones so all together <clears throat> I've got that many detail pieces to work with and uh, I'm hoping to do some sort of a temple <clears throat> of death kind of thing and use these as uh, as my detail pieces to like flesh it out. So, um, most importantly, um, I want to uh, <clears throat> thank both uh, B uh, Squidgy Bidge and uh, the Real Mithril. They sent us a fantastic package. Uh, of goodies and my wife is working one shift I'm working another shift so we don't really have uh, <clears throat> an overlapping time to do a, a thank you video uh, so but Saturday which is like tomorrow um, we're actually going to be able to do it or no Friday maybe Friday morning I'm not sure but anyways I want to show you everything because if you go and you see uh, Bidge's channel you'll see the diorama he did there's a lot more that they sent us, so I want to, like I said, I want to have my wife there to, to do, do our thank you video because it's really wonderful what they do. Um, that family is so ridiculously talented, it's unbelievable. And I also hear that, um, that uh, Empire of the Dead is going to be shipping uh, pretty shortly, and uh, Squidge is, uh, Squidgy Bidge has done um, a lot of stuff. Uh, to show it off as well as his wife she's done some beautiful paint jobs and uh, so go and check both their channels out uh, they're wonderful people they've got a son uh, his nickname's Hellboy he's the luckiest kid on the planet as far as I'm concerned so uh, from from the bottom of my heart and soul I want to thank uh, thank that entire family and uh, I can't wait to show you all the goodies they sent us so hope you guys are having a great day love you bye bye